Brute Squad. Keep this up and I'm gonna have to learn your name. So Becker's intel was good? There's a metric shit ton there. Weapons, depots, drone production lines. So many targets, so little time. Hey, slow down. We can't just keep breaking things. They just rebuild and we prove the public's image of us. The people need to hear our voice. So what? You wanna give a town hall speech? Maybe. I mean, they hold the real power and Stone knows it. What's important is that we spread our message and highlight our common interests. What do you think, Brood Squad? Do you think the people will rise up? They've been living under Stone's thumb for a while. But they'll recognize the light if you show it to them. I'm sold. I'm gonna start rolling out a new hacking and propaganda campaign to commemorate the occasion. Great. Hey, there's a weather station in the mountains by the Unknown Glacier. It's got emergency access to every main comms channel on the island. You sure, Doc? That place is gonna be crawling with hostiles. It's got all the hallmarks of a suicide mission. I don't like that part of the plan. Everyone dies. A guy once said, I'd prefer to be standing for freedom than hiding from tyranny. That's a new one for me. But you've got yourself a chaperone. Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Good evening ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Deacon and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And here we are. We are about to initiate a big assault. We are here to initiate a very big assault against Sentinel patrols. Now, before we continue any further, do not forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course, as always, enjoy! Hold up, we got bad guys nearby. Eyes on a sniper, about to shoot! Of course. We got trouble! Them. Roger, going loud. Clear here. Moving to you. That's it. 
Alrighty. You think this was how things were going to go? Hey, where are you going? I gotta talk to you. Babe. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Aren't we the overachiever? I'll take over from here. Okie dokie. This is how your life would go? Never mind. Don't answer that. I need you to sit in over there. Are you ready for this fight? Now. Equip your I hate Back this. Bad guys are close. I won't let you down. Godspeed, everyone. Tammy! We need to just blow it with you. Five, four, three, That's two. Light him up! Just blow him up. I hit one. Oh, Citizens of Aurora, my name is Dr. Secret Bloom. I am here on behalf of the outcasts, of monsters, or so Trey Stone would have you believe. I sit before you with my arms open so that we can look each other in the eye, so that I can tell you the truth, and so you can see that I fight for you because I am one of you. I have no doubt that as we speak, your brain is on light with the trace of propaganda about our desertion. And that part is correct. All our members lived among you, as your co-workers and neighbors, Skeletech employees, here for the if we same don't smoke that truck, we're finished. Get on it! Because Skell promised peace and plenty, and yet, we built weapons. They promised freedom in exchange for labor. And for all our troubles, we lived muzzled under Sentinel's martial law, our every effort reinforcing the bars of our prison. I think we're good. I ask you, in our position, would you not take up arms? You don't have to take my word for it. The signs are all around you. You may not be ready to see it. And if you are, I don't ask that you take to the streets or quit your jobs, as that may put you in unnecessary danger. Most of you are experts. Your work is probably specific enough that your supervisor couldn't fill in, let alone a sentinel soldier. So I say to you, abstain and disrupt. We will continue fighting on your behalf. Our network will always need access to shelter, supplies, and medical care if you're able to provide it. But above all, protect yourselves. And if ever you're in danger, reach out and your outcast brothers and sisters will be there to help. Be safe, resist, endure. The cause is greater than us, and we will survive the fight together. I did that at a reflex, my bad. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Nomad, I need a word when you're finished down there. Alrighty. I hope this was all worth it. Well, it's all over now, isn't it? What do you mean? You've known since you heard the plan. I'm not going back to South Cape. I'm Aroa's most wanted. South Cape's still the safest place. If this worked, I just lit a torch, and our signal's burning bright. But if revolutionaries can follow the light, so can Sentinel. South Cape will only be safe if I'm long gone, leading Sentinel away. You've got a point, but Haruhi's gonna miss you. I look forward to shaking your hand on the other side of this. Hell yeah. What's with the long faces? Sigrid's broadcast gave us an uptick on the public support front, but now... Sentinel's killing outcasts again. I told you, outcasts were never the priority. But now, Sentinel's basically tripled their patrols. Practically all our new people are getting caught or killed. 
But we can't let that stand, can we? No. Our best intel says they're being held somewhere in Lake Country. Weird, though. I'd have bet anything Gibson would take them to Camp Fox. Something else. We heard they've got a VIP there, too. It's Sigrid. Becker's not so sure, but I know it. Just don't ask me how. If she's there, I'll find her. Don't worry. Hell yes, son. Prisoners. Wait, wait, please. No, they're not here. They got transferred to a black site. It's a setup in American Fort at the foot of the Northern Mountain. <sighs> That's bullshit. Why wouldn't Gibson supervise their rendition? Because he's not in charge. The order came down that Stone was taking over himself. <clears throat> Jesus. Stone personally running a black site sounds like a goddamn nightmare. Got captured again. Is it over? Sentinels are cleared out and the outcasts are freed. Can't say if all of them made it out. Let's see what there is to see. How'd you end up here? Thought you were keeping a low profile. Sentinel increased their patrols. I was building a network to shelter and smuggle defectors to safety. I just can't help myself when I see a job that needs doing. And that's how Sentinel caught up with you. I've always known they were ruthless, but what the soldiers did in this place was... unspeakable. They hurt you bad? That's... between me and them. The loudest screams always came from a hut in the upper courtyard. Know what happened inside? No. But the soldiers celebrated when they learned who I was and fought over who could send the message to Stone. But I was lucky. Another few hours, they'd have taken me to that hut. I get it. At least they don't seem to know about Harui. Looks like Stone got that message. Find a place to hide and be ready for a fight. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, shit!
Check your position. Sentinels turn tail and the rest of the outcasts are safe. Now you lay low, they're gunning for you. You'll want to poke your head out, but hear me when I say, resist that urge. You couldn't follow that advice any more than I can. People like us have to act. We were born to. Don't you get what you've started? All these folks are looking to you. You're no good to anyone dead. My father was an ER doctor in DC, and he taught me you can run from death or you can face it, but it's always coming. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean you have to go and meet it. Watch out for Harui. She'll need you, now more than ever. Alrighty, with all that said, this concludes this episode of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know. Follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and every single one of you, have a wonderful and blessed night. Peace out.